Anchor has got serious nomination for Boom Box of the Year Award. I wanna pitch it to Tim to break it down and we're gonna get it out in the field and put it to the test. Merry Christmas, let's unbox this thing. A beautiful box within a box. Well protected, documentation. Doesn't appear that they did any wireless charging on here. Got your car charger, feels robust. An XT60 splitter, so we'll see three ends on there. And we've got our AC charger cord. How about this guy? Six AC outlets, two USB-C, one of them's 100 watt, one's 30 watt, don't know if you can see that. Uh, two USB-A, DC for the car. We can charge through that XT60. 600 watt max, that's through the car or through solar. And then you got your AC input to charge. Power station, expansion battery slot, wirelessly connected, and happy light. Let's power it on. First things first, if you got one of these and it didn't turn on when it showed up in the box, that is standard for Anchor. They always have you plug in your batteries before they'll power on. All right, came with 84% in the box. It's ready to connect to my phone whenever I'm ready. I will highlight this surge pad port over here on the side. That port in particular is rated to 2400 watt surge. So anything that has heavy startup current, uh, a number of corded drills are that way in our case, just anything with high inrush current can surge for a short time. Then it will fall to 1800 watts of available power on this guy. The capacity is little over a thousand watt hours of power and it's expandable. You can get another battery that'll stack right on here and double your capacity to 2112 uh, watt hours if you so choose. What I'm most intrigued about by this battery is its recharge time. It can recharge all 1000 watt hours in under an hour. So what I picture is taking this out on the job site using it for a job site. It's smaller, it's easier. We normally stay on the channel. We like that 2000 watt hour capacity range, but this guy could be slimmer and easier to handle, but then you could plug it into your van on the drive and get 50 plus percent just on your way to the next job site if you're doing service work or something like that. So I'm intrigued by that and I'd love to test that out. Got our light settings, low, medium, high. Ah, they didn't bother with the old SOS or strobe. Oh, there it is. That's our SOS. But no plain strobe. That's fine by me. Let's see how the app does. To connect to the app, all you do is hit the button on the front with the phone icon and then search for it in the app. It's pretty straightforward for us. You can search it manually or it often picks it up right away. Welcome to the Anchor mobile app. Anchor has a seamless app with easy user interface. That's one of the beautiful things of a company like Anchor. It's plug and play. Like it's very, in fact, incredibly user friendly. You've got a couple of main options, product selection, um, quick setup time. In addition, with a commitment to the Anchor family, you're able to see all your Anchor products in one place. At a glance, you can see battery percentage. So you're managing your loads effectively. You can actually see the energy usage by port type. For batteries, temperature is always a deal. Every battery is going to operate with a minimum and a maximum temperature. They'll have over temperature protection limits. Being able to define your AC recharging power is really cool. Avoid tripping circuits, plug strips, whatever the case is. There's a granular level of control here. So the control allows user customization so that this product performs to expectations. The Super fast charging for this unit is actually an add-on feature which may deplete the life of the battery. And so it is not the standard charging rate, but it is available. So we'll have to think about that in the long term. Anywho, we're charged up. Let's get this thing out into the field. I do want to test both that charging speed and its output capacity. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been on service today. Uh, four, four sites. Swapped a light fixture, uh, found a a wire that had gotten torn up or chewed up or whatever, replace that. Um, this is a GFCI swap for the sub pump. 
<clears throat> but really I wanna talk about the C1000 today. A couple features I've come to really appreciate. Number one is this little light, which I've kind of come to affectionately call the tool light because it is so nice to not have to take my driver and go fishing with that light through my tools and parts and bucket and all that to just be able to sit my tools right underneath this thing and it gives plenty of light to actually be able to see everything and keep both hands free. So number one, that's awesome. Number two, you may notice I am at 99% battery. And you might be thinking, Tim, you said that you've been working all day. And that is true. That's because I've been using Anchor's XT60 to car adapter wire in between each stop. And so I get maybe 15 minutes of charge each way and the 10% to 15% of battery that I'm using is literally recharged by the time I get to the next spot. So every single site today, I've had 100% battery to start, and this is about as much as I can do here. I'm charging a, a battery, I'm charging my phone. This is my cover plate for my GFCI. I'm running a fan down here just because it was a little dank because the sump wasn't working and it's a little warm today. But yeah, I can't think of too much else that I would need, and yet this thing's just been cruising all day. So really impressive. This thing's output capacity and it's recharge speed. Both of those are crazy. The most impressive I've ever seen. Port selection is awesome too. I've been solo today, but even if I had somebody else with me, I've still got four AC ports available, another USB-C and two USB-A ports for charging stuff. Phone's a big one for me at least. My phone usually doesn't survive the day. So be able to not have the battery anxiety for tools, for texting my wife at the end of the day, all that is crazy. This thing's a monster. Between communication with family, the team, the on-site staff, the utility company, company cam, the infrared camera, which connects into the lightning port of my phone, the cold weather, there's no way I would sustain charge. I've got to have a battery like this. I'm not about to leave my truck running in the parking lot. I mean, Tesla's not really a truck anyways, but at, uh, a portable battery system for the fleet is like almost a must. It's so compact. There are no fumes, vapors, gas. In my opinion, it is so convenient. We have got like six to eight of them sitting on the shelf in the shop, and we just pull them, crank them. The guys are you know running corn equipment and ground rod pounders, big uh, line shank drills, and they they flawless, dude. All this. And the thing is, a lot of times the power is only on once we're done. We're working in the dark, we're working in the cold. There ain't no juice until our work is done. So, man, I'd recommend if you don't have a portable battery, get you one. Man, I could go on about Anchor for a long time. Not only are their charge cables my first and best go to, but the size of this product is so compact, it can fit at your feet, it can fit uh, in your trunk, it can be lifted by your grandma, and the software, segue here, the software is top notch, user interface reliability, um, ease of connectivity, like some of these afterthought throwaway hardware only, software is a pain kind of companies where you just, you burn 60 minutes trying to push firmware upgrades and that's not Anchor. Anchor's doing it right. For a little friendly competition, this Opez 1200 is in the same weight class as the Anchor C1000. It's got a capacity of just under 1000 watt hours, but its max output is 1200 watts. And I don't even know if that's surge rated or continuous load. It's only got three AC inputs who are screaming significantly louder than our anchor friends. It's got a lower power delivery rating for the USB-C, which maxes out at 60 watts instead of 100 on the anchor. It's got two USB-As, which matches up, and then it uses DC solar input only up to 200 watts, compared to the XT60 going up to 600 watts on the anchor. Really impressive in what I would say is about the same form factor.
99. Check the link in the description for Anchor Products. 100 and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money. 101.